I'm actually really nervous. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to discuss what I won't do um, as a mom. Um, just keep in mind, this is my opinion. It's what I won't do. I'm not telling anybody or other moms what they shouldn't or shouldn't do. You do what feels right for your family and I do what feels right for my family and no judgment. So let's get into it. All right, I'll start with a very easy one first, although it's a big, big, big annoyance to me, is my toddler is absolutely not allowed to have juice. She is that kid who has her water bottle everywhere she goes, including birthday parties. I have no shame in telling other parents or anybody uh, who offers her juice, telling them, no, very directly, and there's no if, ands, or buts. Um, she absolutely loves her water. She doesn't know any better. So I just, in my mind, like, why ruin that? There's no benefits to juice. And I even had this rule uh, with Milan growing up. She, just in the last couple of years, I've let off on her. She'll have a pop here and there, or um, some juice, but even then I still remind her to drink her water rather than the juices or the pops. All right, my next one is I set routines for both my girls. Um, I feel routine are essential. Uh, for kids, um, especially my two girls, they thrive on routine. I feel they feel safer when uh, there's a routine. And I also truly believe that it helps them in the future to have some sort of discipline, some sort of routine, which leads me to my next, next one is, I will not let my kids stay up all night. That is a big, big no-no for me. Um, Gabriella has, some some nights it varies, but Gabriella has a strict bedtime. Um, and even though Milan is about to turn 13, she's genuinely in her bed by 9.30. And then of course I never let my kids sleep in. Um, obviously if they were feeling sick or um, for whatever reason we were out and they stayed up a little bit later than usual, of course I'll let them sleep a in a little bit, but there's no sleeping in till noon or um, going to bed at 4 a.m. Usually Gabriella is up between 7 and 8 and Milan on school day. I wake her up pretty much every morning at 7 and on weekends. If her sister doesn't um, wake her up before, I usually go and wake her up around 8.30, 9. And just a quick note, um, when you sleep in, or at least I feel, Milan's even said this, um, you feel crappy uh, waking up at 11 in the, in the morning, half your day is gone. Um, so I don't know, I, I think having a normal wake up time on a regular basis uh, definitely helps productivity. Now the one I've been fearing to talk about. So, I will not let my kids go to summer camps. Uh, I will let them go to day camps where they go during the day, whatever, and then come back home in, at nighttime. But absolutely will not let my kids go um, on summer camps, uh, whether it's Bible camp, science camp, air cadets, or any sort of camps that is a long period of time away from home um, I just think it's an absolute hot spot for young predators um, and I truly believe that a lot of camps vet these uh, non-experienced uh, counselors 
um, to work at these camps. And also, another big issue for me is th the kids cannot communicate with their parents as, as often um, as they typically would. My next one is I will not let my kids have sleepovers somewhere. Um, I do not know the parents. Um, I think it's essential for me and my family to know where they're going, um, who, the, who the parents are, uh, what, is, what their lifestyle um, is. I unfortunately do not want to put my kids in a situation where they feel unsafe. Um, and Milan is, while well, Gabriella is still quite young, Milan is very aware of this. Um, she, I am very selective on where she can go for sleepovers. Another thing I won't do as mother is let, especially my oldest, walk in the dark or if it's starting to get dark from a friend's house. Um, the dark is a very scary place and there are a lot of scary people who come out um, at the dark and prey on these innocent uh, little girls. Lastly, I will never body shame my kids. I will always try and boost their confident, confidence um, unless it does start affecting their mental health or uh, their physical health um, but I think there's ways around to address that issue um, rather than saying you're overweight or you're too skinny. Um, with that being said I will also not let my kids uh, Gabrielle is obviously not an issue right now let my kids uh, dress inappropriately I think there is a time and place on how you should dress um, I don't mind Milan wearing crop tops around the house, that is fine, uh, but going out, uh, sh she's not showing her, her belly button or her abdomen. Um, she's either wearing really high jeans with the crop top or essentially sh her tummy, her cleavage um, have to be hidden. Um, and also that goes to the mini skirts as well. All right, that is it for me. I truly hope I didn't offend anybody. Again, this is what I believe is best for my family, my beliefs, um, no judgment on you. If you do the complete opposite of me, that is completely fine as well. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend and we'll chat later.